The old amusement park had been abandoned for decades, its once vibrant rides now rusted and overgrown with weeds. Yet, there was something eerie about the way it stood against the backdrop of the moonlit night, casting long shadows that seemed to dance with a life of their own. Amidst the creaking of the dilapidated roller coaster and the faint whisper of the wind, four friends, Jess, Jake, Mabel, and Alex, approached the park's entrance, their laughter masking the sense of unease that gnawed at their insides. Are you sure about this? Mabel asked, her voice trembling slightly as she clutched onto Jake's arm. Come on, where's your sense of adventure? Alex replied with a nervous chuckle, trying to hide the fear in Noma's voice. With hesitant steps, they crossed the threshold into the park, the crunch of gravel beneath their feet echoing through the silent night. As they wandered deeper into the heart of the park, the air grew thick with anticipation, as though the very atmosphere held its breath, waiting for something to happen. Suddenly, a flicker of movement caught Jess's eye, a shadow darting behind the carousel, vanishing into the darkness before she could make out what it was. Did you see that? She whispered, her heart pounding in her chest. The others exchanged nervous glances, their bravado crumbling in the face of the unknown. I think we should go back, Jake said, his voice tinged with fear. But before they could retreat, a blood-curdling scream shattered the silence, echoing through the abandoned park and freezing them in place. With dread pooling in their stomachs, they turned towards the source of the sound their eyes widening in horror as they saw a figure standing in the distance, a figure cloaked in darkness, its eyes gleaming with an otherworldly light. As the figure began to move towards them, a sense of dread washed over the group, for they realized they were not alone in the abandoned park. Something sinister lurked in the shadows, waiting to claim them for its own. Heartbeats thundered in their ears as the figure drew closer, its movements fluid yet unnatural, like a marionette controlled by unseen hands. Panic surged through the group as they stumbled backwards, their minds racing with terror. With each step the figure took, the air seemed to grow colder, seeping into their bones like icy tendrils of fear. Mabel's grip tightened on Jake's arm, her nails digging into his flesh as they backed away, desperate to escape the looming specter. But no matter how fast they ran, the figure matched their pace with effortless grace, its presence casting a shadow of despair over their futile attempts to flee. Suddenly, a voice pierced the darkness, a voice they recognized all too well. Stop! The figure halted, its form wavering like a mirage before their eyes. As the moonlight pierced the veil of darkness, they saw the face of their friend, Mark, standing before them, his eyes wide with disbelief. What are you doing here? Jess gasped, relief flooding through her veins at the sight of their familiar companion. Mark shook his head, his expression haunted. I could ask you the same thing. This place, it's dangerous. We need to leave now. Confusion clouded their thoughts as they followed Mark out of the abandoned park, the echoes of their fear fading into the night. But as they stepped beyond the park's boundaries, a chill swept through their souls for they realized the true horror of their ordeal, a horror that lurked not in the shadows of the abandoned park, but within the depths of their own minds. And as the truth dawned upon them, they knew that some nightmares were far more terrifying than anything they could ever imagine. <laughs>